Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. Check this out. The gals are taking over the couch today. Hi, you. Summer. Hi. This couch is pretty comfy, too. It's I nice. I bet it feels nice. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Take a load off. You've been running ragged <laughs> yeah, this morning. Absolutely. It's been a busy day. Yeah. So, I, you know, I get here very early, mm -hmm. around like 3 o'clock, early today, earlier yeah. today, yeah. to account for you know, everything that's <laughs> happening in the weather department Side, today. Yeah. Um, but I was, uh, you know, got my heels on, got my dress on. I was like, yeah. oh, I need to go measure the snow. Kick off the heels, yep. snow boots on, winter yep. coat on, tie my hair back because my curls, I want my curls wet to fall yeah. out before the show even started. Oh, yeah. Run outside, take measurements, back inside. Okay, I got two minutes commercial break. Heels back yep. on, hair back oh down. Oh my gosh. It was I can wild. attest, I did witness this. I actually regret not getting a video of her running back and forth. <laughs> but of course, the meteorologist breaks on air, the commercial breaks are way different than the anchor breaks. So she's yeah. got time while we're on and vice versa. So we're yes. off when you're on kind mm -hmm. of a thing. Yeah. Uh, but I did, <laughs> I did see and hear over our little earpiece some, um, okay, I'm back in here. <laughs> okay, I'm in it. All right, I'm in. Let me, I'm just changing my shoes. So we did see that today. And I posted a video even on Facebook just showing yeah. what the view of our studio out in our own mm -hmm. parking lot looks mm -hmm. like. And it is wild. It's yeah. messy. Yeah, if you were watching uh, during, I think it was the 6 o'clock hour, uh, you know, during commercial breaks too, I try to record videos and forecasts for the I, app to post yeah. to social media. Um, it crashed my computer. <gasps> It crashed our weather graphic. So I was oh up God. at the, the panel over there and I was like, um, this is awkward. My weather graphics oh, are yeah. frozen. So you're looking at a blank screen right now until it <laughs> you know, took an extra 30 seconds to reboot. But but trust me, there's a lot happening. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the weather has been absolutely insane. The snowfall yeah. reports that are coming in now, yeah. now that things are tapering off in places, mm. insane. The latest report here in Fargo at our station, by the way, 11 inches. 11. Oh. And that was foot. just a, a pretty rough guesstimate. Yeah. Like I measured lots of places, you know, took the average of it, but that's yeah. a rough guesstimate because the drifts yeah, measured in feet, like mm -hmm. up to my knees. I'm a short gal, okay, but those drifts <laughs> yeah. up to my knees, okay? Yeah, that's half of you. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. So I suppose we should talk about that she forecast. She was waist high in the uh, snowbank. Well, if you want to get to the details, I, I mean, have fun I would love yeah, to just honestly. complain about it all day, but there's still a lot of important <laughs> weather to go on. So uh, let's take a look at your forecast. Even just looking outside right now, uh, at least we can see the street. <laughs> outside of the parking lot from Luther Family Ford most of the morning during the show. It was zero visibility, couldn't see much at all. So our first alert weather day does continue as that winter storm continues as well. Travel, highly uh, not recommended. The red light on for at least a few more hours here. Crews are trying to catch up. Again, heavy snowfall reports and those drifts measured in feet. You can see some of these cars in the parking lot are even buried. Uh, my car out in the station parking lot, it's gonna be fun shoveling out here after the new newscast today. Some reports, they're still coming in, so this is not a comprehensive finalized list. 14 inches of snow in Jamestown. I just mentioned here at the station in South Fargo, 11 inches. A report from downtown Fargo, 10 and a half inches. West Fargo, nine and a half. That report's a couple hours old, so might be a little bit higher than that as well. And the amounts vary so much just within town because we had a really narrow two, in fact, two very narrow, heavy bands of snowfall that greatly impacted our amounts just across the city. Edmonds, nine and a half inches of snow. Ponsford, nine and a half. Glendon, nine inches of snow. A few more from Minnesota, nine inches in White Earth and Natawash, eight inches in Lake George, Minnesota. Here's what it looks like right now. Not quite as heavy, not quite as widespread as we were seeing through much of the morning, but we're not done yet and it's still not pleasant out there. You can see most of the dark, dark blue shades that we had earlier today are fading away. Still plenty of dark blues, meaning the heavier banding of snow is continuing. Of course, it's still situated right through the metro from more, uh, excuse me, Monoman and White Earth down through Holly, Fargo, Moorhead, West Fargo, Castleton, Kindred, Enderlin, Horace, all have been impacted with that heavy snow today. And it's got to come with wind too, right? It wouldn't be a, a winter storm in the northern plains without wind gusting to 35 miles per hour in Fargo. That's only creating those higher drifts gusting to 39 in Oaks where you see the orange shading here in parts of Ransom and Sargent counties. That's where the gusts are closer uh, to 40, 45 miles per hour. That leads to poor visibility at a quarter mile in Fargo. That's where we've been sitting throughout the majority of our morning since the start of the valley today at 430 this morning. Zero visibility has been all morning long in Oaks and southeastern North Dakota because of the wind and the blowing snow blowing around that heavy snow up north. It's like what snowstorm? There's no snow. It's quiet. It's 
cold though, one degree in Hallock, seven now in Grand Forks, zero in Langdon, warmer to the south and west. Temperatures will be falling throughout the rest of the day, but the good news is that the snow will be tapering off across eastern North Dakota here within the next couple of hours. The wind, not quite yet, so blowing and drifting still will be an issue even once the snow stops falling. Here within the Central Valley, right around the lunchtime hour is when snow will start to taper off. It continues in Lakes Country though, Becker County, Ottertail County, uh, Wadena and Hubbard are going to see snow here still for a few more hours until the early to mid afternoon. Then it finally starts to taper off, but the wind is going to take a little longer, not tapering off still for a couple more hours. So. Uh, Jillian, Ashlyn, it's mm -hmm. still looking like a rough couple of hours ahead of us. My husband was out with the snowblower a couple times today, so I'm mm -hmm. thankful I can at least make it into my driveway when I get home. But many folks are stuck at home today. Like you were talking yeah. about, many of those interviews are, are Zooming today yeah. mm -hmm. uh, via Zoom. Because <laughs> they're not able to make it in. Those yeah, they're not zooming outside anywhere. No, I hope sure. not. I Safety hope not. is the priority, honestly. And we yeah. always tell our, our guests that when it's weather like this, you can always resort to a Zoom. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. that's the yeah. safe bet, especially today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank Absolutely. you so much for that close up look. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Hutch Johnson just walked in studio. <laughs> you Hi, guys Hutch. can't see him, but wow. He's right over here. He comes. <laughs> I've never seen this man is. in real life. This, this is he's a weird reunion. Involved. He's yeah. on my camera shot, so he's extra tall, but good morning. Oh, look at, okay, you know what's like bad when Hutch came fairy. in and it's 918, everybody. My the goodness. Wizard. What time is <laughs> You know, the, you know it's getting real out there. <laughs> Thank you, Summer, so much for yeah. the live look there. Oh, my goodness. We just have so much going on here. Yeah, honestly. Uh-huh. Coming up on today's show, though, a new and unique hospice mm -hmm. house being built. We'll tell you all about it right here after the break. Stay cozy in the meantime, everybody.